with a metal working weekend. Here I have a newly completed John Deere wheel puller. I still need to get another threaded rod, but uh, brackets drilled. You get the the shinier two pieces here, and then there'll be a third one here. And uh, those screw onto the wheel on the John Deere, and then the center one pushes on the hub or the uh, axle, I should say. And uh, these bigger holes are nothing. It's just part of the bracket that I got. But uh, this is three quarter inch, and I think those are three quarter inch threaded rod. And the one, this one's a little bit bigger. It's uh, seven eighth or something. So that's one thing. Next thing is I'm drilling some uh, brackets for uh, wheels. I got some nice casters from Northern Tool. Nobody else sells casters that good for the price that I got them for. They're ten dollars a piece, and uh, got two done. There's that hub I was telling you about. That hole, that hole, and that hole around the tractor, and uh, you, there's three bolts that hold that on onto the hub itself, the axle, and then uh, you just pull that off, and then you thread the rods in, and uh, you tighten it all down, and then you pull it off. But there's the third one, and the fourth one is I haven't made it yet, but. Uh, we got swivel wheels, another straight, and another swivel, and uh, those are going to go on the press here. Got the press on the table. So, it's just a metal working weekend. This drill press this is a Craftsman. It's not. It's not a 150. I think it's like a 100. But uh, on this drill press, you can pull down on here, center up your uh, drill bit right in the hole. This lever here. Let me turn that. Then put the lever down while you're holding the pressure down on this end of the hole. You can uh, line up your drill bit for center once you have a uh, pile of hole drilling. And uh, before you do the smaller holes, you should always use a uh, center punch and a big hammer.
it just uh, aids the bit in the cutting sequence. Um, you know, since yesterday, I made that other polar, and I made these uh, those two brackets this morning, and now this one, and uh, I went through this much metal shaving. <laughs> There's still some on the ground and there's some all scattered around here, so um gotta do whatever you can to save these drill bits, so we'll get going on this one. So you should make a good practice of having your belts loose because if the if the bit does catch and your uh, clamp does come undone that thing is just going to keep going around and around and around and uh, uh, you know, if, if, if the bit doesn't break and uh, it's pretty dangerous so always make a habit of keeping your belt loose and at least one of the pulleys it doesn't you don't know, both have to be loose but uh, just one of them like that. Now what we're going to do is uh, I have square corners on this piece here and uh, to match the wheeled bracket we're going to just trim these in the bench grinder. So here we go.
All right, here we have the finished product. Uh, this will just get welded directly onto the base of the press. So, um, you know, I think you're gonna just go in here, something like this. I haven't determined which way the uh, wheels are gonna face. If I want the wheels to be pointing this way, so you can pull it from the side because it's got handles on the removable plate here. Or if I want the wheel to be front to back. So we'll make that determination later. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to weld that on there. Uh, you know, bottom corner here, up here, and then uh, along the channel here on both sides. So it won't be coming off. And uh, later on, uh, not in this video, I'm going to be taking a brace from this corner here to that corner there to square it up so that is all for now I'll show this in a future video and here's the finished product <clears throat> I got all the wheels well or all the wheels bolted on to the plates that I welded on and uh I'll paint it up. It was real nicely.